Precision Board Plus HDU, also known as PB Plus, is a lightweight, eco-friendly polyurethane wood substitute that is widely used for sign, model, layup tooling, and boat making. The closed cell, rigid urethane structure makes Precision Board Plus easier to machine, carve, prime, and paint than wood and allows it to last indefinitely. PB Plus is a preferred medium for professionals in the sign, model making, tooling, and marine industries because it won't crack, warp, rot, or absorb anything, allowing you to show off your creativity and craftsmanship for years. The variety of densities allows one to precisely match PB performance characteristics with the job requirements. The primary difference between densities is the thickness of the cell wall. The thicker the cell wall, the higher the density. The higher the density, the stronger, tougher, and heavier precision board becomes, which directly relates to the cost of the product. The wide variety of densities available means that material costs can be managed according to specific job requirements. PB Bond 240 is a one-part urethane adhesive that slightly expands, is easy to use right out of the container, and requires no mixing. Use PB Bond 240 to bond sheets to make them longer or wider, or laminate them to create blocks in the rough shape you want prior to carving or machining. With PB Bond 240, this project can easily be made from the shop's boneyard, allowing your scrap material to live again! Lay down a piece of wax paper to prevent precision board from bonding to the table. Dry fit your precision board flat on the table, making sure that you have a perfect fit, then place your work back on edge. Next, apply the water. One unique and important feature is that PB Bond 240 requires moisture to catalyze and fully cure. This is absolutely critical for a strong joint. Both surfaces should be lightly sprayed with water and any excess wiped away. Quickly, apply the PB Bond before the water starts to evaporate. Apply just enough PB Bond to change the color of the surface. Use a tongue depressor to spread PB Bond and let stand for approximately two to three minutes or until bubbling occurs. Lay both pieces flat on the table, making sure that you have a perfect fit. Apply clamps, making sure they are equal distance apart and pressure is applied evenly to ensure a proper bond. Do not move your work for at least four hours. Full cure is achieved in 12 hours. Use a razor blade or chisel to remove any cured excess adhesive. Your work is now ready to machine, sandblast, or carve. Once again, lay down a piece of wax paper. Lightly spray both sides with water and use your hand to wipe away any excess. Quickly apply the PB Bond before the water starts to evaporate. Apply just enough PB Bond to change the color of the board. Use a tongue depressor or something larger to spread it. Pull excess PB Bond to the center, about three times thicker than the outside edges, so when the weights are applied, it will evenly spread to the edges, taking the air with it. This technique helps to prevent air pockets from being trapped in the center of the bond. Fit the two pieces of precision board together and apply weights evenly. Don't wait for PB Bond to start curing or bubble up. Apply weights evenly and adjust for a proper fit. Weight alone is not enough to ensure your work will not shift, so toenail in several places to keep your work aligned. Do not move your work for at least four hours. Total cure in 12 hours. When laminating two dissimilar substrates like aluminum or plywood to Precision Board Plus, make sure to miss the surface with water as we discussed earlier. Apply PB Bond 240 in ribbons parallel to the shortest dimension in about 3 8 inch diameter, approximately 5 inches to 8 inches apart, depending on the size of the project. Next, apply a 3 8 inch wide ribbon around the perimeter, about 3 quarter inches from the edge to seal against water, dirt, and other debris from entering between the laminated pieces. Space between the ribbons will allow for different expansion and contraction of the two dissimilar substrates without overstressing the bond or the materials. Overstressing will cause delamination or cracking of the weakest substrate. Weigh down and toenail sheets as shown earlier. Do not move for four hours. Total cure in 12 hours. Your work is now ready to sandblast, machine, prime, paint, 
and show off to the world.